What's up guys, it's X-Rays, and welcome to a new episode of Gaming Nightmares. In the last episode we covered the creepypasta Lost Silver, which covers Pokemon in a really, really creepy version of a Pokemon game that was supposed to be a nostalgia trip, but it ended up becoming a trip full of horror. If you guys want to check that one out, a link is in the description below. It's the first link that will take you to that episode. Today we're going to be covering a pretty interesting one that comes in Fallout 3. It's a creepypasta that says that there's a numbers or morse code that predicts the future and even brings light into some things that have happened in the past. It's called the Fallout 3 number station. And I'm going to jump straight into it since it's a little bit long and I want to make sure that I have enough footage here for you guys. So let's jump straight into it. Fallout 3 contains several in-game radio stations. The most diverse and important station is Galaxy News Radio. What most players don't know is that under certain circumstances, GNR will become a number station. A number station is a station that broadcasts an unusual coded message. Many of these exist in real life and some hypothesize that they are a nuclear retaliation control network. Simply check Wikipedia for more information about these odd broadcasts as they relate to the real world. No one is really sure which actions are needed to hear this number station in Fallout 3. It appears that you must kill 3Dog, because no one has ever reported hearing the number station with him still alive. It also appears that you have to skip over the quest Galaxy News Radio, where you help boost the signal so that the station can be broadcast further than just the immediate DC area. Finally, you definitely have to destroy Raven Rock. This is the actual trigger to turn GNR into a number station, and it will remain such for the rest of the game. However, the vast majority of the players who perform these three actions still continue hearing the standard GNR broadcast, so there must be several more requirements that the community has yet to isolate. If you're lucky enough to have hit upon the right set of circumstances, you will get the message, Radio Signal Lost, and a few seconds later, Radio Signal Found. When you tune in, you will hear an old familiar voice. 3Dog, despite the fact that you killed him earlier. However, you will quickly notice that he does not seem to be an in-character. So I guess it's not technically 3Dog, but just the voice actor Eric Dellums. He reads a series of numbers in a monotone, depressed sounding voice. He always recites a list of single digits between 9 and 12 characters long. For example, 9379172035. These numbers are followed by widely varying lengths of Morse code. This is then followed by the song, I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire. The Morse code was the easiest part of the mystery to crack. We quickly had a list of a great number of messages in English. Some sounded completely mundane and even comical, such as, Wash the car today, maybe Chinese for dinner. Or, Have you watched my YouTube video yet? I uploaded myself kicking bums in the nuts. You may be saying, but wait. YouTube doesn't exist in the Fallout universe, and you are right. As far as we could tell, all the messages sounded like they were based in our reality, somewhere near present. Some of the messages, however, are quite sinister, such as, The Queen has died today, the world mourns, as on days like these, we are all Brits, or, I can't believe they actually done it, not long left, the noise, I can't take the noise anymore. I have a pistol in the attic. Just recently, a player on the wiki forums noticed a message that was brought to light in the meaning of the messages. He was reading a thread and collected all known messages transposed from Morse to English and saw the line 12055282010. What are you talking about? You'll be missed. He realized this referred to the recent death of Gary Coleman and then quickly realized the numbers were the time and date of death. He immediately scanned through the messages to try and find out more examples of this apparent future telling by a game that was more than a year old. The next message he read shocked him and pushed him to enlist the aid of the others to decipher the codes. The message was 94542020010, accident in the gulf, several dead, oil spill apparently averted. He realized this was the BP explosion. Numerous members of the Fallout Wiki message board began looking over the messages to see what else could learn. We quickly found that most of the dates were after the game was released, yet oddly some were from the past. 2215, April 15, 1865. He's dead, and blame will probably be placed on the actor's booth. Johnson better not cheat me out on the payment. This sheds new dot on the official version of the Lincoln assassination. 
As the community quickly started piling up interpretations of the messages, the mods of the site banned everyone who had posted in or even read the thread. All references to the number station was removed from Fallout Wiki, and filtering software was put in place to prevent reposting of any relevant information. A few people, however, are trading emails and slowly finishing the translations of the remaining messages and putting dates to the existing ones. The Queen has died today. The world mourns. As on days like these, we're all Brits. 402, March 19, 2014. I can't believe they've actually done it. Not long left. They were warned, but they just had to keep pushing the boundaries of science. The noise. I can't take the noise anymore. And the light. Dear God. The universe is slowly unraveling around us. I'm not going to wait for death. I have a pistol in the attic. This is actually the only message not preceded by a string of numbers. And it may be worth noting that the latest date on all of these messages is 127 July 6, 2027. So anyways guys, that was the creepy pasta for Fallout numbers. And apparently it's just a whole bunch of Morse code that predicts the future. Now as to how accurate it was, apparently it was some really accurate for some others. But apparently some others were inaccurate, like the one about the queen. She never died. So, is it possible that these numbers actually can predict the future, or is it all a fake and a hoax? Let me know, leave some comments down below. What do you think about this story? And also, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap a like and a favorite. It does get it out there for more people to enjoy, and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying this series. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with what creepy pasta or what creepy story you guys want me to look into for the next episode of Gaming Nightmares. Anyways, guys, until next time, I'm Extra I'm out. Keep having nightmares.